with gratitudes, wins, and bucket fields. Gratitudes, wins, and bucket fields. Cindy. Okay. This is kind of off topic, but everybody knows I bought an Airbnb, right? Yeah, you did. So last week, Chloe and Maria and I all had lunch. And we had a little later lunch. We stayed, we talked, we talked about little pink so we could, how we're going to help Chloe. So Maria wanted to go to my Airbnb. So we went to my Airbnb and we're looking at my Airbnb and all of a sudden we heard this. Shh. And I ran in the kitchen and the ice maker line had busted. And I used six towels to wipe up the water in less than a minute. If we hadn't have been there at that time, if Chloe hadn't have been late, if Maria hadn't have prayed before we had lunch, I honestly don't think that we would have been there. And I would have had a flooded Airbnb with all that new LVP. So I'm super, and she jumped on, turned off the thing and, oh, it was crazy. But boy, the God wink, let me tell you. I mean, it was, I still can't believe that we were there at the exact time it busted. Needless to say, there's a brand new one on there now. Yeah. That's why Chloe was late. It was like, it was just- the well, that's the, real amazing. Question, the real question is what y'all's cut for for all of that. I mean, that's that's thousands of dollars of savings. Second place, a little thing already. Oh, yeah. Bucket Fields. Wait, 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 wait. So Bucket Fields, Cindy and Maria were so gracious to meet with me at lunch, which I was late for coming back from, I don't even know where I was coming back. Oh, my car. So anyway, and I was a whole 30 minutes late. We were supposed to meet at 1230, but we didn't meet until one. But they were so gracious to still keep the appointment on the calendar and to mastermind with me on fundraising ideas. And they have graciously agreed to also help me on my venture. Can't beat it. And how much did you end up raising last year? It was a crap load of money. $69,000 she raised last year for a little pink. Good job. 120000 I've got a gratitude. I am so thankful to see Tammy Eggleston back in here. She has been gone for quite a while, and it's good to see you healthy and back in here and working and seeing you on Facebook and social media again. We love you and we miss you, and I'm glad you're back. Who else? Gratitudes, wins, bucket fields. Well, I had a lot going on. I want to thank you, thank Daniel for his expertise. He helped me. I hired him to help me with the techie part of the Airbnb uh -huh. outside of work. Side I, gig, huh? Side gig. And he bought, bought my little network MiFi and told me what to buy for my um, Yale lock for the, you know, the um, keypad. And he is amazing. And he's so nice and calm and got everything set up. Together was the one that mounted the TVs, but yep. he came back and he put the TVs up. Daniel, if, for those of you who don't know Daniel's background before we hired him, is Daniel was with the Geek Squad at Best Buy for 10 years. And so he knows kind of a little bit about it. Yeah. He knows a little bit about everything. And so, when, yeah, when I say, look, Daniel and I have an unspoken agreement together. Bucket fills, gratitudes, wins. Anybody else? Anybody else? Going once, going twice? I'm going to start charging you for more than one. Sorry. Light them up. Bucket fill, leadership. <clears throat> Big head here, too. Because leadership always shows up. I've been going to a lot of, like, the culture summits, the equity summits, family reunion, and stuff like that, and I've noticed that leadership is always there to support us. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Okay, this is hilarious. Can I stand up for this one? Sure. Let's go to the front. We'll stand up. I'm standing up. So last week, last Thursday was the cultural summit, right? This is hilarious. This is really funny. And I don't get like surprise very often and I got surprised so I'm sitting there on the second row Mary's beside me I said well who's the cultural ambassador from our market center and she and she was like 
and he didn't do it. He she threw him under the I thing. knew you blamed it on he did not do the you what he be. didn't fill out the paperwork. We have we are sitting on the second row in Burlington she does not have hot. a cultural ambassador. I, oh I was hot. hot. I was like steaming. I was like, oh, this is not gonna she, end I mean, well. she was you weren't scrolling. there. I was she like she was oh. scrolling her phone like this. I was like Anderson and Mary Anderson's right there. I'm like Oh my God, we don't have anybody for cultural so, so all the A's come through, you know, and all of a sudden B, I'm like, who's going to be, I mean, it's going to be blank for Burlington. And lo and behold, it was me. She had me going. I was like, you've got to be kidding. Now, normally you don't get to be culture. I was a culture ambassador in 2019. And I actually went for the region to the mega camp and got on stage and all that. But needless to say, I was very super surprised about that. But it was the way she did it. And I, I mean, y'all can, y'all know how mad I was. You probably. were still pissed after you got it. I was like, really? And I'm, that's what the video is like. I'm like, oh, I can't believe you did that to me. I, look, look, look. I typed up all these accolades and they're reading these accolades. She's still standing on stage like this. Just looking. Then she was like, and just exit stage right. She was gone. She was hot, boy. She looks, she looks at Mary's like, no, we didn't turn Andy didn't turn on time. And she looks at me. And I was like, I was like, what do you, you seem, you seem ill. And Cindy's like, we didn't turn one in on time. I'm like, I, I, I don't, that's too late now. I don't know what to do. She was like, that is only you. And then, and then Mary turns back around. I'm like, leave her pissed. Just leave her mad. Yes, thank you, Tammy Corey, for getting Keystone here today. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the food. So real quick, before I go into quick announcements, where is Kim? Oh, she's hiding. Kim's got a couple of quick things she wanted to share, and then we'll go to announcements. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hey, everybody. How are y'all? Um, I just wanted to come up for just a brief minute. I'd ask Andy if I could just have like two minutes of your time, and I know you guys are pretty much all veterans in here. There's one newbie, and I just want to, first of all, point her out. Rhonda Benz, I think you were here last time, but I wasn't, but Jim's new buyer's agent. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> I wanted to come up on behalf of the Sunshine Committee. It's kind of been on my heart and on my mind. Um, I know the ones of you that have been here know what Sunshine Committee is, but sometimes I think it's kind of just kind of almost forgotten. Um, but behind the scenes, myself and Chris Young have been kind of keeping that going. Um, so we just wanted to bring it back to the front and remind you guys what Sunshine Committee is all about, what the Sunshine Fund is all about, because we're a family here. We have family in need. We have family that needs celebrating at different times in life. So I just wanted to remind you guys that it is still a thing. We still have the Sunshine Fund and you can give any way you want to. I'm not the person that's going to push a fundraiser. I'm just not. But I'll just say, remember that it's there, that you can donate through your closings. Um, there's that way. If you want to donate, if you, I guess you want to outright donate, they can. So I would say, I'm going to point to Mary and say, get with her and figure out how to do that. But I just wanted to remind our family that we do have the Sunshine Fund, that it is there if you know someone in need, someone that's celebrating um, a life celebration to let us know. So you can find Chris or myself somewhere in the office. Um, let us know, let Mary know, and we'll take care of them. Because again, we just want to make sure that you guys know that um, the Keller Williams Central family is here for each and every one of you. And I know if you've ever been a recipient, as I have, it matters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it just matters. Yes. Um, so um, since I've kind of, I just volunteered to be on this um, this year and somehow um, have been that kind of go-to person. But for example, if someone's in the hospital, we send flowers. Um, Tammy, I think, was a recipient of that. Um, so when you're in the hospital, if you're sick, if we, you know, um, a family member unfortunately passes away, we're going to send flowers to the family. If you need a card, if we need to help you um, with food, um, if there's just a need that you have. And then again, the celebrations, you know, if someone's having a baby or somebody gets married, you know, life happens, but we just want to celebrate with you. We also want to help you in your time of need. So it's a financial card. Yeah. Really, good and bad. There yeah. Sunshine Fund did 
who just acknowledged and let them know that they were not alone made a huge difference in that room. Yeah. Yes. So just a few dollars to, to contribute to that. Plus, from what I understand of the Sunshine Fund, is if any if anything is a uh, comes up with a KW CARES grant, it has to also be subsidized with some of our internal market shutter money in order for that grant to be approved. So, so we have to grow the fund is where that comes from. We always hear that you, if you don't, if you contribute to it, you may not ever need it. But if you don't contribute to it and you need it and it's not there, what good is it? So while we all have been blessed in our lives with our businesses and our commission checks and all that, just to cut a few extra dollars off to the side and, and uh, let that bill, it doesn't have to be a lot, right. but it all adds up. Mm -hmm. yep. One of the um, things that the ladies had talked about was if everybody in the market center, if, if 275 agents gave $1 a month on their agent, yes. that's $275 a month that we would collect. Yes. You can add it to your agent bill, you can add it to a closing, you can bring me a check, and it can get put right into that fund. The fund has helped. We've seen house fires, we've seen deaths in family, we've seen car accidents, just unexpected illness. I mean, there's been so many things um, that I've watched them contribute. You know, it's not always flowers, it's not always a car. Right. Sometimes it's a monetary gift because right. there's, a, there's financial need. So lots of things that that money goes to and lots of ways of helping. With KW Cares, it, it is a thing to where if you, you've applied for a KW Cares grant, we do, the market center does have to subsidize some of that. And so we sometimes use some of the Sunshine Fund. Sometimes we use some of the market center funds, depending on the amount of the need, the grant that they're asking for from KW Cares. So there's lots of opportunity. And they also need some more volunteers on that committee. Please. People can't carry that money. Thank you. Um, so when you guys, and two people can't see every post on Facebook, because I try to, if I see it on Facebook, I try to send it to them so they know to do something. However, everybody needs to kind of pay attention to that and make sure that they're aware of the needs, because if one person flips through the crack, and it's like, why didn't they love on me? So if you guys know the need, make sure you're making ladies aware of it. Please. Somebody needs to get on the committee and help. Yes. Thank you, Tammy. I want to point out that Daniel brought a, to my attention, a, a, I guess, a comment or a feedback that he got from Darshan. Um, I guess if everybody knows, her dad had a very bad motorcycle accident. So she was saying that today was kind of not a good day, right? Yes. Yesterday was, okay. Yeah. So yesterday was a bad day. Today's looking better. So again, just keep her in your prayers and reach out to her and love on her. That's what we do. So again, just wanted to let you guys know, just we want to bring the sunshine back to the KW family here. And the next little thing I just wanted to plug right quick, um, kind of on that, that I know how big you guys, your hearts are, how big we are, that we want to be in the community. Um, and there's just something that has come to light for me um, that I want to share with you guys as a part of, it's not really a KW thing. It's not something that's, but it's a way to, I guess, show Burlington and Alamance County how big we are. And that's by joining the American Cancer Society, American Cancer Society Relay for Life um, this year. It's been back, I think, since COVID. Um, this is my first experience with it. Um, I'm going to try to do this without crying. But because of you guys, um, I can do that. And it's September 16th. So if you would save the date, it's going to be out at the Burlington um, Stadium where the sock puppets play. And it's like a five to nine event. So it's not like all day, all weekend or anything like that. But I just wanted to throw that out there. You can come find me. I have all kinds of information. You can join a team, be a team, give to a team. Just I just ask that you would help um, do this. But if you'll save the date um, and just maybe plan on coming out and supporting Relay for Life. So that way you're giving back in a way to the American Cancer Society. Thank you all. Thank you. Yep. I, I just want to thank it, thank the committee. I wasn't sure who was on the committee, so I said, Andy, thank you when I got my flowers. But when I was down with my surgery, it was very hard because I couldn't be there for my mom, who really needs me more than ever. And I was really down a little bit. And so when those flowers came, it just lifted my spirits so much. And I just want to thank y'all. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else?
Or we're having testimony time. Good gracious. All right, eight weeks to wealth. All right, so there was a kind of a kickoff this morning. Uh, I hear that we're working out a way to bring it into the market center as a whole to where everybody could just come do it together down here. So more details coming out on that uh, shortly. Next. Um, Ignite starting tomorrow, 9 to 12. The first Ignite was incredible. The new agents, the new uh, influx of agents that went through that Ignite, they are only already on their third and fourth transactions, brand new agents. So we're getting major traction from these. Um, teachers, all, ALC's teaching, uh, you got Christy May and Joe Don and Tammy and Cindy and everybody, Jason, Chloe, uh, major, major, major teaching uh, instruction list. So that starts tomorrow from 9 to 12 right here in the training center. Even if you've been through it before and you want some refreshers, you are invited back. You don't have to be. Oh, yeah. If there's one topic that you want to come get a refresher on, you can come to that one class if you want. If you did 18 of the 20 your first time and credit for that in your KW education repertoire, you can come to those too. Yep. Uh, tax reduction strategies for the real estate professional. Raise your hand if you need more information on that. Everybody raise your hand. Okay. So this is Thursday, June 22nd. This Thursday. From is the ED to uh, I, I, I know it, I think it's us. I've I've been always an EST dude. So from ten to twelve thirty, it's going to be Zoom. Uh, Pre-register RSVP. Daniel's going to blast this link out. Right? Yeah. It's on the calendar. I was going to throw it on Facebook. I, I just found out about it. Daniel will put it on Facebook and on the calendar, so you can RSVP, so we can get a head count. Uh, form changes class. This is another big one on June 27th from three to four. Uh, who's doing this one? You're doing this one. That would be Jason. All right. Next. Uh, three to four, three to four on June 27th. <laughs> uh, career night. This is just a reminder. Daniel wanted to remind you guys that you can now go to learn to realestate.com forward slash enroll and actually enroll the people that you have interested in getting their real estate license. I just got another text this morning from a girl that went through K score and she texted me this morning and said, Hey, I passed my state exam, my state and national exam. Can I come talk to you? And I'm like, it's starting to freaking happen finally. So we've have we've got how many people in that pipeline? We've we've we put a thousand through it. We put a thousand into that pipeline, but now there wasn't really a um, a follow up system for it created yet. It was kind of KW adopted it and then went it crazy um, with with enrollments. But the process of helping people get through that, and now that we've got that ironed out, and Darshan has done a fantastic job taking it over, has basically taken that entire pipeline, plugged it into command, and put communication um, drip campaigns on them. So she's staying in touch with them, and now they're getting through quicker. So you're going to start seeing a lot more uh, new agents, brand new agents coming into the market center, which is cool. Next, yoga class, Wednesday, July 12th at 945. All levels invited. Extra mats will be provided. Who's teaching? Jim Wooten. <laughs> Nicole, um, Nicole Oh, I see it. With Nicole Eilers. Oh. Oh, it's right there in large print. Got it. Nicole Eilers of Exhale Studio will be here. And it's in here, right? Got it. That's going to be fun. We're clearing the tables out. We're going to do Ignite Yoga. We're, we're going to ignite your yoga. Uh, yeah. Next, Mega Agent Camp Hotel Cutoff is July 20th. Raise your hand if you're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Just that's when's the last time eight hands were raised in the room? That's awesome. So, anybody know not know what Mega Agent Camp is? 
So Mega Agent Camp is basically uh, 17,000 red wearing KW psychos in the same building for two and a half days. Leading training, mentorship, it's, it's nuts. Like it's like drinking out of a fire hydrant. Everything. You want to be there. All right, you're up, Keystone. Thank you so much for the lunch. Come up here. I'll give you guys this microphone. You can just pass it around as you need to. Are you the spokeswoman? You can well, light them up. I guess I would like to just begin by saying thank you guys for having us here. Um, it's amazing just hearing all the things that you are involved in in the community, and it's quite an inspiration. And since I'm first with the microphone, um, Patrick and I have several communities here in Burlington, and we'll talk about all that later, but we just wanted to say thank you. Well, and tell me your name. <laughs> I'm Lakeisha Perry. And I am Patrick Dickerson. I am Gina Harrell, and I'm the community sales manager for Mebane Town Center. And this is actually the entire Alamance County team for Keystone. So since y'all are in Burlington, we wanted to make that the focus, but we'll talk about other parts of Keystone later as well. Good morning. I'm Paige Casey, and I work with uh, Gina and Mebane. Um, so we're a team at this current, at the current, for the next six months, probably. Hey guys, thank you so much for the opportunity to come out and um, be with you guys here for a little bit. Um, I'm new to Keystone, a couple months, and um, I'm out in Brassfield Meadows uh, in Burlington. So um, thank you so much for the opportunity and look forward to working with you guys real soon. Great. So I'm going to do the market update. And basically on your table, you have four slides plus a little red slide. And we're going old school, but we've got all the Keystone communities sitting up behind us, which is just perfect. Thank you for that. And again, thank you to Keller Williams for having us. This is great. And again, what to echo what Keisha said, amazing to hear what y'all are doing in the community in terms of outreach and other things like that. That's quite inspiring. All right, so a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are veterans. I did listen to that. There aren't many newbies here, as somebody said, but I'm hoping you can get some little, you know, kernels out of this that you may be able to take with you. The statistics you're going to look at are the courtesy of the Mortgage Bankers Association .org. So it's a fairly neutral type of organization that just presents true statistics, I would say. And one of our preferred lenders was kind enough to share this with us after we they shared it with us. And I felt that it was very graphic in its presentation and helpful to what we're experiencing in 2023 after everything we've experienced prior. So let's start with the first slide. Basically, and this is not going to be news to any of you, mortgage originations are declining 20% in 2023. This is obviously going to be coming from the mortgage industry, so we're not capturing cash sales, but um, this is a very, very good indicator of where we are this year in terms of the decline in home sales as well, you know, it's going to kind of go along with the mortgages that are originated. So <clears throat> you can look at the graph and it'll show you also 2023, we're seeing that decline, but the good news is in 2024 and 2025, they're expected to be the largest years from a volume standpoint since 2021, outside of 2021, which we all know was an anomaly, and since 2002. So that is very encouraging information. Uh, we know we can all weather the storm of this year, and I'm going to hopefully tell you a few things that you can do to, to help with that as well. On to the next slide. Okay, so outlook and forecast. The uh, average home sales prices are decelerating, unfortunately, with this year that we're experiencing. The Pacific region is having the worst impact of that. But there's a lot of good news for North Carolina. When you look at this particular slide, um, we are one of the top three move-in states in the country 
along with Texas and Florida. And South Carolina is not far behind, uh, but they are behind us, so that's good. <laughs> but anyway, um, and also the Winston-Salem and Greensboro market beat out the South Atlantic with 15.3% appreciation year over year. So that puts this triad area in the top two metros in the country. That's exciting to hear about our area, no doubt. And again, the pain is being focused on the Pacific region because uh, I don't know if y'all are seeing it. You probably are just as we are. You see people from out West coming this way. And there's certainly a, a reason why so many are moving to North Carolina over say South Carolina or Virginia. Um, it's the access to the mountains and the coast. It's the access to New York and to Florida, kind of being right there in the middle of the mid-Atlantic. Um, then also the fact that, where was I going with this? Oh, we have three and a half seasons. They call it three and a half seasons now, no longer four, because I guess we don't have as much of a winter as we used to. Or maybe the summer's longer. I'm not sure which, but we experience three and a half seasons, which gives us a big advantage over Florida in my mind and in a lot of other people's minds, obviously. Uh, part of what this um, alludes to is at the end of 2014, I don't know if you all knew when this happened, but at the end of 2014, North Carolina went from being the 10th largest state to being the ninth largest state in population. And have, we have continued to hold that position for all those years since, and we overtook Michigan. So you see what's happening. People are moving out of places like Michigan, out of places where maybe the weather's not as good or the economy is not as good, and they're moving here. So yay. <laughs> any questions about that? And we'll leave time for questions at the end too, if you have any. Okay, this is also good news. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to how do you get around all this high interest rate talk of mortgages? Well, it's all people are talking about. I mean, it's a lot of what people are talking about, but we've got a slide coming up or a piece of paper coming up that's going to say, this is why you don't want to wait. And sometimes it's hard. It's very hard to convince people not to wait. But I'm hoping maybe you can use some of this information in the future when you're working with your buyers, a lot of this is targeted toward buyers, obviously not necessarily listing agents, but um, it's pretty important to go ahead and not wait. And you'll see that in just a minute. Um, but it is obviously going to help us that mortgage rates are going to drift down. They're expected to drift down at the end of 2023. Um, all of these mortgage rates are tied to the 10-year treasury bills, and um, we're going to end the year around 3%. And apparently... This is all mortgage talk, and I'm not a mortgage person, but at the 3.43% mark is the breakaway point where it starts to drift back down. So it's going to happen this year. They're predicting. So we, you know, we know these are all predictions. There are no guarantees. So hopefully five and a half by the end of the year. But you still have to sell in the environment of six and a half, six and three quarters until then. So, um, and then they predict it to go down to 4.5 by the end of 2024, but it is an election year. So things also get tied to those kinds of outcomes, if you will. All right. Now, this is the one that I want you to take with you and make copies of. It's the rent versus buy and the cost of waiting. Um, this really hit home with me. I feel like the the one that they use here on the left-hand side that illustrates over nine years is probably a little bit much to really present to people. But at any rate, I don't think people consider the cost of their amortization or the contribution, I should say, of their amortization. They're paying that payment every month, but if you're paying rent, you're getting nothing. If you're paying a house payment, you're building toward your equity. And especially people that are, you know, trying to think about what's the difference between renting and buying, 
that's an important thing to impress on them. You're not just making a payment and your money's going nowhere and it may take a while on a 30 year loan, but it's going towards your principal. You're going to be gaining equity. And that is tangible money in your pocket when you go to sell. Uh, in addition to appreciation, the fact the mid-Atlantic area is so solid, it's important to remember that you're going to gain appreciation as well. Now, this is saying, now, again, it's a .org, so you can think what you want, but over nine years, this is basically saying that $214,000 and $663 is what you're going to gain by buying a home, but that's over nine years. Now, something a little more, you know, applicable, I think, when you're talking to people is look at six months, look at a year. That's on the right-hand side at the top. Six months, a year, two years, three years. What's the cost of waiting just those short lengths of time? Well, three years, and you got to factor in increased rent prices because renting is big right now. And people are, they're the property management companies, which we're one of them because we have both multifamily and home building. Um, our owners thought about this a long time ago and decided that was a market to get into. Well, now they're really glad they did, or we are. So um, 60,000 years to wait three years, 6% a year, your rent's going to go up. That's just a fact of life. Then you also are looking at the other things, your lost appreciation and your amortization that you lost because you're just basically paying rent. Then this is a bar graph at the bottom, cost of waiting on a conventional 30, and y'all can read through that, even though it's a little bit hard to read, but that is pretty good. Three years, $60,000 you're losing. So with all the down payment assistance programs and everything, and also getting creative, that's speaking to the next slide, which is about why buy new instead of resales. It's red. It's not attached to the others. It's red. If you didn't get it, we've got more in the back. So this was from our friends at Highlands Residential Mortgage. And these three things that, that they illustrate here are obvious, but I have some others to add. Um, new homes are livable and lovable from the start. Obviously, they look nice. They don't need any work. <laughs> Um, all these things go into it. Um, they live larger than old, older homes because of the things with open plans and high ceilings, all these things that people think make, just make them feel good. So that's one thing. And they cost less to own. You would hope with the str stringent building codes, which we have in North Carolina, that you're not going to have HVAC failures. And big major system failures in a new home and plus you're under warranty if you do so you know that's a huge cost savings and then the other thing is I mean people talk about fixer uppers and all this stuff well I say it's hogwash the gift of time is a gift you never get back to spend more time with your family with your kids all that kind of stuff I, I mean I like new but anyway that's just me so <laughs> but anyway there there's some other things too um with regard to new home sales and this goes for all pretty much all builders not just keystone um we will accept contingent offers and that's been really hard to come by the other thing is we will also accept veterans v va loans fha loans we welcome all that. If you look in the MLS, you'll see they only want cash and they only want conventional. I mean, seriously. And we're willing to take on the risk of that appraisal maybe comes in a little low. Well, let's figure out a way to make it happen. Um, the other thing is you really need a good lender network. And this is the last thing I'm going to say. How long have I been talking? <laughs> uh, you really need a good lender network. And I'm not going to slam any of the competition for having in-house lenders that are builders, but I've had people come to me and say, well, they just ran the numbers and they said I didn't qualify. Well, darn, you know, now I can't get a house. Well, I know, and you're going to get our packet in just a minute, but our team of preferred lenders, they work hard for 
us and for your clients. And I hope that whoever y'all are aligned with does the same, that they get creative. You know, not everybody's parents have the wherewithal to gift them a little money to pay off their car, to get their ratio in line. But these are all things that we really, really, really need to think about and be cognizant of because those parents have the dream of home ownership and always have because it was so much easier back then. Now they want their kids to have that. And if they can help a little bit, again, if they have the financial wherewithal to do it, they're going to want to do it. And so having that good relationship with your lender partners is so essential. Um, and so, again, thank you. Now, the only thing left is for us to tell you what's in the packet, and we'll hand out our packets. Any questions? Yes. Um, one thing real quick I wanted to say is, first of all, thank you guys for uh, allowing us to come in um, and hearing the amazing story, Tammy and Corey, for and um, Gina for, you know, getting this together. And I want to tell you one thing real quick. And that was when I first came in, Miss um, Eggleston came in and she had a conversation with us. And then you talked about the CARES program and it, it inspired um, in terms of what you guys are doing. Um, I didn't tell the quick story about Keystone. Keystone Company started in 1996 by two incredible owners, um, Mark and Scott. Mark, um, Mark and Scott, Mark, Michael, Scott Wallace. And when they started the company, a small local company, and they built it into all the communities that you see there. And what we want to tell you guys is we would love for you to bring your clients in. Our goal is to take those clients and move them along the process and make your lives a little easier because we know you already have a, enough going on. So when you bring the clients to us, our goal is to basically, you drop them off if you need to, and we'll take good care of them. Or if you wanna stay with them through the whole process, regardless, our goal is to make your lives easier. And we hope to see every one of you at one of these Keystone communities. We're gonna be looking for you. We might be calling you, so please bring them on our way. Avondale is going to be um, on the southeast side of Greensboro off of Old Roundman Road and Carroll Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we have some beautiful product. It's actually um, considered to be more like a detached townhome community where we do yard maintenance, but you're away from your neighbor. So uh, please come out. But one last thing we wanted to mention is that we have a great incentive for you guys right now where we're doing increased commissions with every sale. Yeah. So you actually can earn six figures by selling five of our houses. So come out and do it in a month, please. My couple was from Italy. And it was her first time buying it in the United States. And it was a, it was interesting that it, they would, it, it went around the way. I mean, it went so smoothly. Everything, they were pleased. I mean, he had lots of questions sometimes, but everything went well. And there was a, a nice incentive. Mm -hmm. He said it was really good to me as a buyer's agent. And they handled everything from, I mean, I felt like I shouldn't even have a commission. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> thank you, Tammy. <laughs> Uh, well, we do have communities um, within Keystone that go up to a half acre right now, um, but they're going to be more out in the Stokesdale location. So when you're looking at the map, that would be Northwest Meadows and that would be Preserve at Carriage Cove area. And the, the commission incentive is scheduled to end June 30th, but you still got 10 days. And it's all Keystone communities, and it's an extra half percent for every one you write up to 5%. So with that, we'll sign off. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, Mary. So if you guys saw on Facebook yesterday, I sent out a reminder that if you have a closing that's due to close before transmittal, your commission request should have been in by last Friday. So just another reminder, I need you to get in your commission request. I said the 23rd. Okay, it was actually, it was actually last Friday, but I probably did. That was a typo. 
but it was last Friday. <laughs> I might do that. Was it supposed but to anyway, be so the if you could get your commission request in at the end of due diligence or two weeks prior to closing, that way you guys get to preview your and look over your initial DAs before I'm actually cutting the checks. So your commission requests are in. If you see a mistake on it, you can let me know to where we can add those referrals or we can add your transaction coordinator or add the things that you guys are not getting turned in um, in time for your closing sometimes. Um, also, Transmittal runs a little bit wonky this month. Transmittal starts on the 3rd. We're closed on the 4th, so the 5th and 6th, so there won't be any checks issued between the 3rd and the 6th. So you'll need to get your commission checks in by 4 o'clock on the last business day of the month, which would be the Friday before the 4th of July. And then those checks would be paid out right before Transmittal starts, and then nothing else would go out until the following Friday. So, and you already talked about the wealth class. If you guys, where does any, who all here went to the culture summit last week? Does anybody want to share anything about that? That was a, I see you back there, Jamie. What was your big takeaway? Mm -hmm. It's an extra thing that Keller Williams does that I would talk about to acknowledge people who, you know, I don't know, but it's not just a money thing when it's just like a good home. Giving back. Giving back. Yeah. And the, the way that other market centers give back, like their ideas are very interesting. One guy was a radio host and he puts all his people on the radio to get their name out there. Yeah. He reached, he, he spoke about every, every week during his show, he allowed one of the agents from his market center to share their information, to get their name out into the market center. So it didn't, it, it was growing the market center and, and, and the, the <laughs> but, but it was, I mean, he, he did it with a servant's heart. And that's what we're trying to build here. We're wanting to see our agents out in the community with a servant's heart, helping each other and helping the community. That's, you know, that's what Sunshine's all about. That's what we're trying to build in our culture here within the Market Center. And one way of doing that is by par participating in these events and going to these events. Whenever there's an opportunity for you guys to go to one of these regional events, that was a free event. I mean, you guys didn't have to buy a ticket to get in. And we got to see Mo Anderson. And Stedman. Y'all believed us. You know you did. Um, no, I didn't. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so there's opportunity. I mean, you guys don't have to um, stay back and just hear everybody else tell the stories. Take advantage of those opportunities. Be a part of your market center. We had a great time together. We hung out in the hotel. We got to know each other. Same as when we went to family reunion and mega camp and the different events. So anytime you see us pushing an event for the region, you guys should hop on and do it because I had reserved. I mean, we had enough we had good time. room for everybody. Um, we take and it everybody was a great time to go in and I held everybody's seats for them. So everybody had front row or second row seats and got you guys bottles of water. I kind of took care of my babies there. So uh <laughs> Took you guys to dinner. We let Andy tag so, along. So I get so I get to the hotel. She was there a few hours before me. She left at like two in the morning to get there. And I, I go into the hotel and she she texts me. She was like, You're already you already checked in and your card's up there with your name on it. I'm like, thank you so much. So I get there and I walk up to the desk and it's my turn to come up. And she's she walks up beside me and she was like, uh, that's his card right there with his name on it. I said, I'm sorry, my mother already checked me in. And the girl and said, I don't believe my, that. She said, I am not his mother. Because I would have whipped his tail a lot of times whenever he was a little boy, because he would not act like this now if I'd have been his mama. Y'all wouldn't have me any other way. Anyway, so just guys, take advantage of those opportunities when they arise. Um, don't just sit back and watch everybody else have all the fun. And here, here's, I don't, I, don't take this in a negative way. And I mean this like from a heart. Um, people... Uh, there are some within our market center sometimes that like to make cultural comments, but they they don't like coming around to experience our culture. Don't be that person. 
you get, come experience what we're about and what we're doing and where we're going before you take the liberty to make a cultural comment to anybody on the leadership team. And I don't mean that in a shut your mouth way. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like, it's common sense, like come around it and experience it. And then if you have uh, input on how things are going, then give your input. So that's my little two cents. And I love you all. Hey, so I'll throw out there, there are so many groups that you may not even know about at KW. That's what was opening my eyes. There's lady ladies who lead or lady leaders with um, the women, like women's council. There's lady leaders inside of KW. There's the KW Rainbow Network, which is the LBGTQ plus group. There's even a sign group, KW signers, which are um, deaf or either signers. There's KW Arabic. Um, there's There are so many groups. There's like 30 different affinity groups within KW. There's more within KW than there are out there in the actual real estate industry that you can be a part of. So whatever group you're a part of, whether it's Latinos, whether it's women, whether it's LGBTQ+, whether it's sign, whether it's Arabic, whether it's, um, the, it's there. And they even, if you're interested in starting a group that's not there, they're willing to help you start that group. So, and can I add something to that yep. real quick? Uh, I, I heard stories at at um, uh, the last family reunion. I heard stories of people saying that their own personal market center culture, they were getting ready to leave. And the only reason they stayed was because of the culture inside of their community that they were a part of inside of Keller Williams. So being Keller Williams is such a huge ecosystem. There's KW military, there's KW everything. And so there's these little pockets of communities that you can plug into that aren't just KW Central or KWRI that you can have intimate relationships with other people that are in your world. Well, and I'll say, hey, um, I'm part of the KW Rainbow Network, and often people can't see themselves a part of something unless they see themselves somewhere. Um, and at the core of all those 30 whatever groups are humans. And every single client you serve this year and next year, and as far as long as you're in real estate, is another human. So be a part. Um, hey, I'll throw out some things. Don't forget, I love you. Love each and every one of you, all 200 and whatever are of you now. However, there are 200 and whatever of you. Um, and I answer my, you know, if I will call you, I will text you, I will email you back every chance I get, even if I have to, like today, I got like five phone calls from the same person while I was in a meeting this morning, even after a text where I said, I am in a meeting and I will answer you. Um, and then the office, they called the office and then the office sent them to me. So, um, Jason, they called me back yet. So here's the thing. Therein lies the first bullet point. Don't forget about the Bit Hotline. I love you, every one of you. Just remember for general questions, there is a point of contact there that could help walk you through some and it's basic Robbie. things like, hey, where <laughs> do I date such and such? You don't have to necessarily talk to me about where you date something, but if you need to, at some point I will get back to you. So don't forget the hotline's there. It's there for a purpose. So if you can't get me and you have tried five times, do call the big hotline um, and say, I'm not getting, I'm not getting Jason. What is he going on? Um, someone even contacted the operating principal because they sent something in dot loop. Well, I don't operate in dot Keep loop. Keep doing that. So um, call Robbie. <laughs> but Zoom. Um, call. it was easily fixed by sending a PD. I can't even see the document. <laughs> because I couldn't even get into it to see it. Had I could been able to see it, I could have fixed it. So um, anyway, if I'm not answering you, usually there is a reason I'm not answering you. So, um, and I will get you as soon as I can. Hey, bullet point two, how long do you have, this should be a Kahoot, to turn in an executed document? <laughs> NC real estate law. Three days goes to Kim, fresh out of class. Three days. Oh, oh, oh. And that's not business days. It is not business days. 
So why on under the sun ever do you submit an entire file Mm -mm. the day of closing, day of closing, and then say, I want my check before? It's not possible. It's just not possible. So I'll be nice. It's what my mom, grandmother and mother told me. Procrastination on your part does not mean urgency on mine. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Is that staying right there? Um, no. Hey, gang. It's so we. So you don't dump thirty-eight documents to be reviewed. Sandy, don't do that again. And expect us to turn that around and get it back to you. So yes, when you get a WWREA signed, when you get a listing agreement signed. When you get the sketch, when you, that gets submitted, you can submit as many times as you want. It's not a one and done. Keep submitting every time you get something executed, submit it. It's perfectly fine because that gets you paid faster. What doesn't get you paid faster is waiting longer than the three days, right? So I know you all have seen us look at compliance a little a little tighter on the screws, making sure everything's dotted and crossed right. and checked and teed. Make sure you're following the three-day rule, please. Again, submit your meeting initially, then su submit your offer package, the OTP, the addendums, the OMG, I call it the OMG, the um, LBP and all those things. Submit them when they're signed and ready, not closing day, okay? Quickly. So for you online, make sure if you have a coordinator that that uh -huh. coordinator is also following the same rules. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'll share with you, if you have a transaction coordinator, I had a conversation with an attorney last week. Who is responsible for getting the document to the attorney? The agent. The agent said, I've got a coordinator. I don't care if you've got a man on the moon. Who is liable <laughs> for the document to get there timely is said agent. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Said agent needs to take that up with the coordinator they've hired that may not be ex. And I'm pointing there initially. Like, <laughs> Said agent needs to take that up with her coordinator, Looks who is actually person. on the hook, agent, agent, right? And firm Bic. You need to calm down. You get a little All fired right. up. <clears throat> so don't hold on to your file. Don't hold on to your file. You're just hurting yourselves. And then you're frustrating. You're frustrated. Well, please know where are too. We just don't let you know. Um, so don't hold on to it. Submit it. And renew your license. It is, you are dead in line, you, real close, $45. And if you have a firm name that you get paid, like Jason Scott LLC, they both, of them. they both got to be renewed, not just you, but your firm. And they're $45 each. NCREC.gov, far right, top, sign in, and it drops down and it says, renew your license or renew your firm. It's right there. Okay. Anything for me? And your business license. Yep. Which we think is going away. There's legislation to get rid of that Good. if it passes in. Good. So a bunch of money. Gougers. A little bit to come on that. Um, <clears throat> there was there's legislation that's been introduced to take that part away. So, yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yep. All right, real quick, last five minutes. Um, please welcome your new OP, Robbie Cavender. Um, I will do a quick. Um, not quite intro, but just how thankful I am to have um, this new relationship with Robbie as the OP. Um, when we sat down together and he sat down with myself, and he sat down with Mary, he sat down with JC, he sat down with Daniel, um, sat down with Darshan. And there was, there was one common agreement that it was very easy to tell that Robbie was headed the same direction that we had already been heading. And there's no there's no misalignment in our thinking. There's no misalignment in our direction. And it, we're all on the same page and it happened immediately. And that was very positive. And I, for one, am glad you're here and welcome and share your heart. 
Yeah, I mean, my biggest thing is I've been here for a long time. So y'all, some of y'all know me like Joe Don more than you should maybe, but no, I'm just kidding. But my biggest thing is just helping the market center grow, you know, helping you guys grow. I'm here for you. You know, this is not my market center. This is our market center. It's not about me. This is a, a title. The title doesn't mean anything, right? Um, it's about you guys, it's about the relationships. It's about the culture. It's about getting back to, you know, adding value to what you want. Um, you know, how can we help you grow your business? How can we help you grow your wealth? How can we help you become a better real estate agent? whatever that looks like. So, you know, I'm available to you. You let me know what you need from me. Andy's available to you. You know, our leadership staff, we're here for you. It's not about us. So, you know, we're only as successful as you are. Um, so that's really my, my heartbeat is, you know, getting this market center back on track, getting things like home tour back up and running, getting things, you know, back to where um, we were getting the energy back in the market center. So, um, I think the wealth stuff is a great, if you came this morning, we're going to try to figure out how to zoom that in here. I was texting Jason Abrams, trying to figure out how to do that. So, um, you know, we want to bring that value to you guys. I think wealth is a huge thing that we don't talk about enough. Um, so I think more conversations around that, how can you, you know, how can we help you build a passive income to where it's not just, you're relying on a home sale every month, but where if you don't get out of bed in the morning, you're still got money coming in. Um, I don't know. That's where my heartbeat is. How can we take care of your family and the legacy that you leaving behind you? Uh, those are things that we don't talk about enough. You know, we talk about how do you sell a house? How do you write a contract? Those things are important, but how do you build a business that you can leave? Um, you know, where if you're not here, you still have a business. If you don't show up, you still have money coming in. Um, that's that's what gets me excited. I don't know about you guys, but that's what, you know, that's what I get passionate about because it's about helping people. It's about helping agents, you know, and I want to be available to you. So anything I can do to help you, feel free to call, text. You have an idea, you want to do something, you want me to come try. No, I'm just kidding. You won't want to see that. Um, but anything I can do to help you guys, seriously, I'm available to you. You know, I want to help you grow your business. I want to help you grow your wealth. I want to help you become a better agent. I want to help our market center continue to grow and, and impact this uh, county and this area. So whatever I can do for you, let me know. Um, you know, I'm here for each of you, whatever that looks like. So, yeah. Anybody have any questions or anything I can answer or anything you want to see done in the market center or anything i like that idea i'm thinking about that we just we need to we need a building first or something you know that's true i would just live here i would just sleep in my office <laughs> i would just need a shower <laughs> nothing anybody okay you guys are easy today so but let me know what i can do seriously we want to try to bring more training and more um you know value to you guys so that's the biggest thing my biggest heartbeat is just how can we bring more value to you, um, you know, how can we help you with your business and how can we help you grow? Because when you grow, we all grow. Thank y'all for coming. And thank you again, Keystone for the food and sponsorship. We appreciate you and all the information in the handouts. Good information. Love you guys. See ya.